And when you won the interim belt, was there any difference to you between it being a UFC belt or an interim belt? Oh, not at all. At that moment, um, I was just so happy to have finally actually got to that level again. I didn't really look at it like, well, it's only the interim belt. I didn't really think about it at the time. And then there's Brock Lesnar. Right. What started the animosity between you two? In the first fight, I don't think there was any. Uh, it was more or less uh, you know, a pro wrestler versus a mixed martial artist. It wasn't until after the second fight that any true animosity on my part occurred, and it was just because of how he, you know, he won, he beat me, and I'm like, all right, you have it. And then uh, his explosion afterwards, I feel revealed. I'm like, that wasn't acting. I think that was really who you are. You know, that wasn't yeah. you trying to play a role. That wasn't you selling a fight. Now that Cain Velasquez um, is injured, they'll be competing for an interim belt between Fabricio Verdum and Mark Hunt on Saturday night at UFC 180 in Mexico City. How do you see that fight going down? I think overall skill-wise, Verdum is the better mixed martial artist. Mm -hmm. Obviously, his submission skills, I feel he's the best jiu-jitsu guy in the heavyweight division. He really is. That being said, you know, I don't think Verdum is clueless on his feet by any stretch of the imagination. If I had told you nothing about his jiu-jitsu and a first-time fan had watched and said, hey, he's a professional kickboxer, no one would have called me a liar. He did better than uh, a lot of other professional kickboxers that have fought against Travis on their feet. I think the one thing Mark Hunt, though, is just, he has that one shot, you know, he can explode forward with that left hook or the right uppercut, and um, he could finish someone's night instantaneously. Is this a fight you're excited to watch? Oh, very much so. I think Mark Hunt is, you know, I feel a lot of people are rooting for him because of his age and his time in the sport. To see him win a title is great. At the same time, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more dedicated guy in the division than Verdum. He might be one of the most dedicated guys I've ever met.